Hi, welcome to St. Helen. My name is Phyllis Coleman and I'm principal of this great institution. Our students number almost 400 and our mission here at St. Helen is to grow students in wisdom, age, and grace. St. Helen is our patron saint. She discovered the true cross of Jesus and her mission was serving others and evangelizing. And that's what we think we help students to do here at St. Helen. We are an advanced academic campus. We offer advanced programs from grades pre-K three through eighth grade. We've recently built a brand new campus to facilitate all of this learning that's going on. And we're now up to 75,000 square feet. We have a very advanced security system and we have a family atmosphere here at St. Helen. Our campus is one of the most diverse in the entire archdiocese. One of the other things we're proud about is that we offer a special needs program. 12 years ago, when the campus started growing, we knew that we were missing out on a population of families who needed some special services. So we do have an intervention specialist and that's our niche in the Catholic schools. Additionally, we are a STEM stream campus. We offer engineering and robotics during the school day as electives, and we also have engineering classes with robotics after school and coding. We offer a variety of programs from geography and chess clubs to art after school and during the school day. We are celebrating our 27th year in business, so we're still young as a Catholic school, but we're starting to see alumni return to us now with their own children. Hello, my name is Father Jim Corville and I'm the pastor of St. Helen Catholic Church. And I also have the privilege of being the pastor of St. Helen Catholic School. But I think the thing that makes me most proud as pastor is see how the two institutions are not separate, but rather one, united in spreading the word of Christ. It is such a joy for me as pastor to preside at a liturgy where our children are singing, which they do on the first Sunday of each month with like a 50-person choir. And after they finish singing Mass, they're out in the prayer garden handing out donuts and sharing time and, and sharing their faith with our parishioners. And our parishioners very much feel a part of the school as the school feels a part of the parish. It's truly a, a brings a smile to my face when I see our little ones come to Mass with their prayer buddies. We have prayer buddies here who are in the seventh and eighth grade who walk into church with their little bitty prayer buddies from the first or second grade, showing them how to behave in mass and how to pray the mass properly. It's just wonderful to see the young people spreading their faith to younger people. So as pastor here, I think that probably the most valuable thing we have here in our building is not just our students, but our faculty and our staff. And we're grateful for both of them because we hopefully are spreading the word of Christ in every way that we can, more by actions than by our words. So we are truly very grateful for all that is happening here and we give thanks to God and ask his blessings for many more years to come. Thank you and God bless.